Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in front of us we have a little brass monoblock shutter lock made in Italy, um, an ALA padlock. Really cute little lock this, not particularly big. Um, let's have a look, this is about 60 mils only. So it's a cute little shutter lock. Um, I found this on eBay, very excited because it's an Italian lock, and quite often Italian lock brands, Vero being an example, tend to just take a little extra care in terms of how they make their locks and they add nice little profiles and flourishes I mean look at this um, for an example uh, just really nice little uh, knob there for pulling out the shackle when it's unlocked uh, nice little sort of lozenge shape to the side profile there really nice so how we're going to pick this well let's just check it works first smooth with a, um, a completely springless dead core but um, yeah works absolutely perfectly as you'd imagine. The key itself, not particularly great bitting. Um, I think you'll find that number one is quite low, number two is relatively high, but nothing extreme. So I would suspect this is an easy pick. Throw in some tension, keep it light, and what I'm going to do is not put tension on. I work from the back forwards, there's no reason to it, using this beautiful pick from my friend to Penae, New Zealand. I'm just going to put the pick all the way down and then put tension on. Pull the pick back and when I find a pin which is um, firm, push up so that's five, three, two, and one. Actually bound in order backwards makes it a very easy pick. When I pick a lock like this with all standard pins, I always think to myself, is it easy to rake? And of course, most people go for the Bogota first up, and I think that's a good choice. If you look at the Bogota against this key, you can imagine that if we get it right in the lock, we can pretty much copy the pin profile in the lock with the Bogota and use the shaft of the pick to pick pin one. A lot of people don't think of the shaft as being part of the tool for picking the locks, um, but yes, it can manipulate the pins just as well as the peaks and the troughs. So let's have a go at that. Stick the tension tool in. And I'm gonna work from the bottom up so we're going to start sort of low and just move up, just gently pulling back and forth, pulsing the tension, and let's see how quickly we can get this open with um, with a, a little a light raking technique. Um, there we go. It'll open there. Probably could have done that faster, um, but yeah, just just a sort of a nice uh, way to use the bow guitar is to not force it. Just um, feel sort of the pins, the feedback as you are picking through the lock, and just um, use those peaks and troughs to um, just sort of like pick multiple pins at the same time, and just see where you get to. Um, and yeah, it's just a really sort of nice technique to use there. It's not to go in and uh, you know scrub the pins until they all fall apart. Uh, so there you go. That's the ALA lock. Um, little 60 mil brass shutter lock padlock. Very cute, but alas, not particularly secure. All right. I'll see you all next time.